Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a video in the Smite Alpha. So, this is actually kind of something new for my channel. I've never re I've never really done too many other genres outside of first person shooters as if you guys have watched my channel for any period of time, you guys know that my favorite genre of game is first person shooters. Honestly, I could probably play first person anything. And I just like that perspective in gaming it allows you kind of allows you to do some stuff that you know you wouldn't be able to do in real life but you know that's another point for another video but smite it's a third person viewed MOBA game and if I'm not mistaken I think uh, I think MOBA stands for multiplayer online battle arena I think that's <laughs> that stands for I'm not Correct me if I'm wrong, but Smite, it's in Alpha on Xbox One, and I was lucky enough to actually grab a code off Twitter. They were, everybody, probably the night of the announcement that, you know, that the codes were being sent out, people were getting, like, two codes, and they were taking one from themselves, and then they were posting, you know, another one on, you know, Twitter, and, you know, Either they posted a picture or they were doing like a giveaway or something like that. So I was lucky enough to get one of those. But I did sign up for the beta and the beta is going to be closed as well as, well the alpha is also closed. But I do believe the the, the beta is closed and that's actually going to be coming in April sometime. So if you didn't get into the alpha and you did sign up for this, uh, you will have another chance, you know, next month. And I'm pretty sure they might be actually be sending out, you know, alpha codes every now and then, until then. But, uh, in the meantime, I think that as long as you do have a code, you might be guaranteed access to the beta, and you might also just get to be able to play, you know, until, you know, the beta, then once you're in the beta, you get to play until, you know, the game is, you know, released. Which, honestly... The, the game r runs fine, you know, I've only had uh, probably one minor issue. I got kicked out of the queue during matchmaking, and I ended up, couldn't do anything in the menu, and I had to uh, close it out and restart it. So that's the only hiccup I've actually run into. Other than that, it plays fine. And I've probably, i found my main god that I'm probably going to be using for... You know all my matches, and you know, I'll, obviously, I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the God Pack, and I'm gonna purchase some skins for you know the ones I'll play with most. But Hades is definitely the character I'm gonna be using the most. I just like the look of the character, the you know how fast he takes up the minions and arena. And by the way, arena is probably my favorite game mode out of the three that's available. So there's arena, joust, and siege. And I've tried all three of them out, and I am terrible at Siege and Joust. But Arena is pretty cool. I can just mess around and have some fun. So it's pretty cool. So Hades, he has like a uh, an attack, a well, I don't want to say an attack, and an ability where he goes down the ground and comes up and does some damage. He has uh, like a area effect ability that goes in a cone in front of him, and he can make I think enemies terrified of him or run away and it's actually I, I can't I don't remember the exact names but the other one and then the third ability is he smashes his staff down and does a some damage and the I do know the the uh, ultimate move he has the name of it it's called uh, pillar of agony and he will within a range of you know a certain range he will suck in enemy, enemy minions and enemy gods, and he will do damage to them. I think, you know, so much damage every half seconds for four seconds. So that's eight damage, eight times they get damaged in that um, in the amount that they are, you know, caught in this like vortex of you know agony apparently. But one thing I don't get is why they switch his main default skin. Apparently, you you if you have the Classic Hades, or just Hades back then, I guess. Uh, they switched his skin to one that 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 was current then, called Nightmare. So that's the default now. But if you had, you know, the, you know, Hades back then, you could 
you got the skin for free. But if you have 400 gems, which I think is like mm, like five dollars, I think basically, if you have five dollars, you can go ahead and just purchase the classic Katie skin and Bloodfire and Soul Taker, and or if you or if you level up, you'd actually go ahead and get the the uh, golden legendary and diamond skins which gold and diamond look awful by the way <laughs> I would just like to point out the legendary skin looks pretty cool with gold and black where golden is gold and blue and diamond is blue and white but I don't want to talk too much I just want to you know have the gameplay in the background and the gameplay is my very first match which is actually arena and I think I did pretty well and I ended up we win it ended up winning uh, I think it was pretty close, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's been a while. I did record that on like the second day of the alpha, and it's been going on for a while now. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if I guess uh, if this video does well, I'll probably put out more Smite content, you know, faster. Cause I ain't want to do more of the content. I might do more Hades battles and stuff. Uh, I'm really looking forward to you know what's what Smite has in store, and I might actually start watching like the esports leagues and stuff like that now because it actually seems, seems kind of interesting now that you're actually playing it so yeah there's that so hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one